The virus-induced gene silencing protocol begins with growing the A-Timothacian strains, PTRV1, PTRV2, PTRV2-PDS, and PTRV2-target gene on LB plates. Two days later, these strains are inoculated in liquid LB and grown overnight. This culture is then used to inoculate a secondary induction media liquid culture, which is also grown overnight. The next day, a bacterial suspension of each culture is prepared and both PTRV1 and PTRV2, or PTRV2 target gene, are mixed in a one-to-one -one ratio. The bacterial mixture is then infiltrated into N. benthamiana or tomato seedlings using a needleless syringe. Hi, I'm Andre Velasquez from the laboratory of Greg Martin at the Department of Plant Pathology and Plant Microbiology at Cornell University. Today, we will show you how to do virus-induced gene silencing in tomato and Nicotiana benthamiana. We use this procedure in our lab to study the interactions between a plant pathogen and its host. So, let's get started. To begin this procedure, four Agrobacterium tumefacian strains, each harboring PTRV1, PTRV2, PTRV2-PDS, or PTRV2 host target gene plasmids, are grown on LB agroplates supplemented with canamycin and rifampicin. Canamycin selects for the PTRV plasmid, while rifampicin selects for the agrobacterium. Incubate the plates at 30 degrees Celsius for two days. When the bacterial colonies have grown on the LB plates, use each of the strains to inoculate four...